This is my audio modulated flyback transformer. Um, I, I boxed it up in a $2 Walmart um, shoebox. Uh, there's the potentiometers. Those are 50k potentiometers each. Um, I have a low voltage in, uh, positive and negative. That goes to two 6 volt batteries wired up in series. I've got a, a um, 1 8 inch jack here that is going to my little radio here. Um, and we'll get to that later. Uh, inside, you've got a IRFP260N uh, power MOSFET um, uh, with thermal paste on a heat sink, pretty good size heat sink. Um, you can see the, uh, if I get over here, that's the high voltage out and the ground. Um, there's the flyback transformer that I zip tied to it and uh, the circuitry for the 555 um, flyback driver circuit. Yeah, I'm using the regular driver circuit that everybody uses. Um, you'll need to look that up, but it's not hard to find. Um, if you just Google audio modulated flyback transformer, there's a million circuits. So over here, um, coming from those two wires right here, uh, I've got it in my helping hand and I've stripped off the insulation for just some bare copper wire and I've got a, uh, a CF bulb right there just for for looks and you'll see what happens to it so it's kind of a audio I'm sorry a video <laughs> video audio and video event so um, let me crank it up I don't know if you can hear that but it's some classic rock song that I've got on let me, let me move this to make the clarity better. I don't know what band this is. To move it away, you get a lot of... You can see the CF bulb is kind of going nuts. Again, more, more disruptive uh, waves are exciting the gas in there, kind of like it's how a Tesla coil works. In basic, this is cheating, a cheating way to make a Tesla coil. So I might be able to manipulate the pots to get a little bit better clarity. I'm changing the frequency here. Probably my best quality right there. And I'm off. Pretty decent quality right now. Anyway, pretty neat.